This video is going to show you how to find your learner's lowest skill areas in MAP and utilize that to assign them assignments through Dreambox. So to start, we're going to log into MAP to view the student test data to be able to see their lowest areas. So once I'm logged into MAP and my students have completed the math assessment, and you probably want to give it at least 24 hours for all the data to load. But once it has all loaded in, you'll want to come click on Map Growth Reports. And since you probably are going to want to um, assign specific assignments based on what is their weakest area, you want to click on Student Profile to be able to see each individual learner's data. And then we're going to choose which um, season we took the assessment in. And all of this information. You want to make sure to choose the right section. And then I'm just going to start with any student just to see the report. Okay, so this is what the home page looks like of all of their map data. You'll notice that if you wanted to, you could also see the other assessments they've taken. But I have clicked on the Mathematics tab to be able to see their data. This middle column is telling me about instructional areas. Um, and how they scored within each area. And then the suggested area of focus is usually the first one. So for this learner, it's telling me numerical representations and relationships was her area of focus. And then once I click on that area of focus, I can see the breakdown of the exact skills. I wanna change it to group by standard so that I, actu I can actually see the standard number, the TEAK, to be able to go into Dreambox and assign. And so here's where you'll just want to probably look for any areas that you notice that they need to develop um, that you would like them to work on. Just so you know, Dreambox will allow you to assign up to two assignments to each learner at a time, but not more than that. So they would have to um, complete the assignment before you'd be able to assign them another new one. So you can assign up to two. So um, as I'm scrolling through, I'm going to think about the ones that I want to assign for her. Probably something with fractions and something with place value since some of these teaks are actually below level um, that she was showing that she needs to develop. So I'm going to probably focus on those two. So once I'm ready with the skill area or teak that I want the learner to focus on or work on, I'm ready to now log into Dreambox in another tab. And I'm going to click on the class that that student is in. And then just so you know, if you wanted to assign an assignment to the entire class, from this view, I can go to the large Assign Focus tab right here and click Add Assignment from there. But since I want to assign it to the specific student, I'm going to go back and actually click on her name. And now I can assign it to just her. By again going over to the assign focus tab click add assignment and then I can even choose an assignment that is a lower grade if I needed to because again if I click back to the math math uh, scores I can see that some of the areas she's still developing were lower teak areas so that's kind of at teacher discretion however you'd like to do that but I'm gonna look to assign her a fractions a grade five assignment to see if we can fill some of those gaps that MAP is showing us. So I chose number and operations because that's the large overview topic that Fractions is in. And then from here, you would need to know the specific TEAK that you're assigning. Um, I think the Fractions one might be that one. Yeah, so that one is multiplication of a fraction, or I could go in and assign, let's see, um, division of a fraction, so I would be able to choose it from there and then down at the bottom, it's letting me know I'm about to add a new assignment for Cecilia. I'm going to hit add assignment and now she should be able to work on that. And just if you want to tell them on their screen, an assignment is going to show up on their main page with a small little blue, almost post-it note looking icon in the corner 
of the little box. So you can tell them to look for the blue square or the blue post-it note icon to look for any assignments that you've assigned to them. And they'll be able to do those in any order, just like they do all their other assignments on Dreambox. So from here, I could go back to map, find another student that I want to assign a specific TEAK or a specific assignment in Dreambox to, and continue to do that process for as many learners as I need to.